Okay, so let's talk about quantum numbers really quick. Let's talk about um, giving the quantum numbers of, I don't know, the, we'll do the sixth electron for um, oxygen. Okay, so oxygen, uh, the best way to do quantum numbers is to write the orbital, or orbital diagram. So, Okay, so when we're filling up, one, two, one, two, and then one, two, three, four. Right? One, two, three, four. Okay, so everybody's cool with that, right? Oh, quick question. Huh. So that's how you do, like, on, like, say, 2P or block slider, you put one in each, then you come back, and then you mm -hmm. start again? Yeah, definitely. You okay. have to do that. Do yeah, myself. no, 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 because they don't like to be in the... You, so let's just think about this, right? So this here is increasing in energy, okay? So anything in chemistry, anything in chemistry happens because it likes to be at the lowest energy state, okay? So if I, um, so obviously this is lower energy than this, this is lower energy than this, but they, electrons don't like to be paired, right? They'll be paired if they have to be paired, okay? But what we're implying here is to say that this Px, Py, and Pz, if you want to think about them that way, um, all have equivalent energies, okay? So if there's one guy in this, if you think about them like houses, you know, and there's roommates, right? One guy in this house, you know, I'll just go over to the next house, I have a roommate, you know, and I have to stand on my head, you know what I'm saying? So this one, I'll do the same thing. This guy's like, the next one's like, well, there's no other room for me, you know, so I guess I have to go into that first one, okay? So it's just that what this is saying is all of these are at the same energy level, okay? And so that's how you feel. This is called the off bow principle, okay? Um, anyways, where were we? Uh, quantum numbers. So N, do you guys know the quantum numbers? N, L, no, M, L, and M, S. Yeah. So principal, angular, right? Magnetic, and spin. Okay. So um, we're looking. What did we say? The sixth one. So one, two, three, four, five, six. This one here. Is everybody okay with that? See how I did that, right? Okay. So the sixth one. Well, its principal energy level is going to be two. Right, because that's the um, period that it's in. Okay. So um, the angular one describes what uh, or type of orbital it's in. Okay. So s is zero, p is one, d is two, f is three. Okay. So this is going to be a what type of orbital? P. So it's a one. Yeah. Okay. M sub l. This is um, the integers plus or minus this number and in between, okay? So in other words, minus one, zero, plus one. Is everybody okay with that? Okay, so x in this case, minus one, zero, plus one. Minus one, zero, plus one, that's how they feel. Okay, so which one would this one be? Minus one. This one here, minus one, but the one that we circled, sorry. Zero, zero, right? Sorry, I, I know my hand was sitting right there. So. And then um, spin, honestly, you don't know whether the electron goes up, up or down, down or up, you know? But it's convention to write them up. So what I do, and I don't know if Ms. Sanchez will do this, but the way I'll always do this is the first electron that goes in is going to be the plus one. So it kind of just to go with if the arrow's up, it's positive. Yeah, down, it's right. up, it's positive, down, negative. That would be the best way to think of it. Um, how did I count the sixth one? How did you count the uh, How did I count my electrons? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, you go up. Seven, eight, okay. right? You guys got it? Should we do another one? 
one of these other electrons on this one? Let's just do one more electron. But do you have a question on this yeah, one? Okay, yeah. To go up to the next one, will it's going to be a single box or is it going to be, or is it going to be three? So if, let's, do a let's do a different atom when we're talking about that. Let's not confuse it with oxygen, okay? So but we'll do another example in a second, okay? Do we have to do examples of it and that's why I was confused because some of it had like on a 1s and 2s that had one box piece and then on the 2p it had three and then on the next one it was one and then three again. Well, it's going to be 3s with one and the next one will be 3p with three then 4s with one okay. and then uh, 3d with five because there's five orbitals in the 3d. Well, but we can do a whole example on that if you prefer, you know. I think it would be better to just complete this one and then do that one next, okay? But it's a good question. I'm not trying to blow it off or anything. Okay, so let's do, let's do a different electron. Let's do, I don't know, this electron, okay? So which electron is that? One, two, three, four, the fourth electron. Okay, so what's N going to be? The principal? Two. L is going to be what? Zero, because it's an S orbital, right? So what does M sub L, the magnetic number, have to be? Zero. It has to be zero, right? It has to be zero, because it's plus or minus zero. There's nothing in between that, right? And was this the first electron or the second one that went in? Second one. So again, a lot of people would say, Plus or minus, you know, it doesn't matter. But um, I like to think of it if it's down, minus. Okay, can we kill this video? I think we're pretty good on this stuff, right? Yeah.